Hey guys, in this section I'm going to show you how to create a JSON object, um, a JSON array, and we're going to loop through the array and print out some values onto into the browser. Alright, so I'm going to create a new folder to work in, and this is chapter 3, section 3. I'm going to create my index file. Okay, so I'll open that up. And also open it up in Notepad. And I have some snippets here that I want to paste in because some of this stuff is going to take a while to type out. I will type out some of it. Um, so I'm just going to paste in my HTML shell. And this is labeled My Movies. What I've done is taken the same information from the movies.xml file and put it in a JSON file in JSON format. So it's this going to be the same exact info. The movies with the title, uh, year, genre, and director. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a JSON object in the head of the document. So I'm going to um, create my script tags. And what I want to do is create a variable. I'm going to create a variable called movie. And this is just going to, this is going to represent one movie object. Okay, so we want to say equals. And then if you remember, we open the, uh, the JSON objects are always enclosed inside of curly braces. So we want to put it here. Um, this object, this movie object is going to have a title, say the Godfather. Uh, this should actually be in quotes. And then we want a comma and we can add year, which is 1972, comma, genre, which is a drama and we have director and that is Francis Ford Coppola all right so that's a JSON object it, it's a movie object so we can do different things with this uh, I want to show you how we can grab this and actually print it out, print out different values on the screen, whether we want the title, the year. So I'm going to open some script tags in the body. And this is how we can access. So I'm going to say document.write. And to access this, we want the variable name, which is movie. And then we use dot syntax for whatever property we want or value that we want. All right, so this should print out the Godfather. All right, so that's how we how we can access a JSON object. So we can print out its genre. Whoop. All right, so that's how you do that. Now I could duplicate this and call it Movie Two and Movie Three, Movie Four, and so on, but uh, that's not a very um, that's not a very good way to do it. A better way would be to create a JSON array. Okay, so to do that, we're going to change this to movies. And we want, if you can remember from the uh, fundamentals section, arrays in JSON are inside brackets. So we just want to put that inside a bracket. This. All right, so we should actually space this out a little. Actually, that's fine. So now it's an array. Movies is an array with one object or one, every, every array value is a movie object. All right, so if we put a comma and we grab this, So 
So the next one was super bad in 2007. Comedy. Greg. Tola. All right, so that's second movie. It was 2006 drama all right so that's the third movie next So the last movie was The Expendables. That's 2010, not 12, 10. And that was action. All right, we want to remove this last comma. So now we have an array called movies with five objects or values so we can save that obviously we're not going to see anything yet um, the first thing I'll do is show you how to actually print out a single value and then we'll loop through so all we have to do is save movies and then we want to choose a key or, or a value um, and that goes in the brackets just like any any array so we'll say movies zero, which is the first value of the first object, and we want the genre. So let's save that, and that prints out drama, because the first value is the Godfather movie, which is a drama. So let's say movies two, title. Save that, and we have the departed. All right, so now I want to show you how to actually loop through this. We're going to use a for loop to do this. All right. So, in the script tags in the body, we want to open up the for loop, and inside the parentheses, we want to set i to zero, and then have we need a semicolon, and then we want to say as long as i is less than movies dot length. Now remember, movies is an array and an array is an object so an object has properties and length well oh, spelled that wrong length is one of those properties and that stands for how many values are in the array all right so the next thing we want is just to increment i so in here is where we put what we want to happen when we loop through this so what i want to do is display um, the title, year, genre, and director of each movie on t into the browser. So you can do that with document.write and inside the first document write I want to actually I want to put an unordered, we're going to do this in an unordered list so out of the script tags I'm going to put in a ul tag So document.write, we, what I'm going to do here is put a header, an H4 header with the title, and then underneath that, the year, genre, and director will all be list values. So I want to say document.write H4, and I want to concatenate on the title, so I'm going to have to do a plus sign in movies. And I is going to represent the index for that iteration. Okay, so H4 concatenated movies I dot title, and then I want to concatenate on the the um, ending H4. All right, so we can save this and reload, and we have all of our titles in H4s. Okay. So let's continue this and say document.write and 
here we want a list value. It's going to be a list. So I'm going to say plus movies i dot year. And then we want the closing list tag. Whoop. All right, so if we save that, now we have the year under each title. So I'm going to copy this and do the same for genre and director. So all we have to change is this. All right, so if we reload, now we have a nice list. Uh, well, it's not very nice looking, but uh, it's grabbing the info from the JSON. So if we continue to add values to this array in the, the JSON objects, um, this will automatically be updated. So now that we've done that, I want to style this a little bit um, just to, to make it look a little better. So I'm going to go up here and put in a style tag and actually before I do that I'm going to add a div called container the ID of container and I also want an h1 tag say my favorite movies So now let's give it some style. Um, so if we look at this, the first thing, I want this all to be centered. So I'm going to say, um, one second, I want to align the H1 in the center. So we'll say text align center. Uh, I'm sorry, what am I doing? H1. Actually, I'll keep it all on one line. So that, that's going to center the H1 tag. Uh, next, I want to take the H4 tags, which is the movie titles, and I want to give it a margin of zero, um, a padding of five pixels, and a background of light gray. So that's, oh, this semicolon shouldn't be here. Get rid of that. All right, so if we save that, take a look. We can see our H4 is now has no margin, a background, and some padding. So the next thing that I want to style is the LI, so all the lists. And we're going to take away the bullets. And we want, let's give it a little padding on the left. We'll say five pixels. And the final thing is the container. So that's the, it's wrapped around the entire, all the content. Okay, and let's see, I'm gonna say width 600 pixels. Um, we're going to say margin auto, that, so we want the content all in the middle, so we give it a margin of auto. And finally we want an overflow of um, hidden. Okay, so I'll save that, and if we reload, now we have this nicely formatted list of all our favorite movies. So and to add to this list, all we would have to do is add another array value. All right, so that's how we can loop through a JSON array. Um, next, we'll be talking about Ajax and how to um, grab info from the server without reloading the page.